Have you ever wondered how to transform a barren patch of land into a lush green paradise? Welcome to the ultimate guide to gardening for beginners. We'll explore the magic of turning tiny seeds into thriving plants. Together, we'll walk through the essentials, from understanding your space to choosing the right plants, and from the planting process to ongoing care and maintenance. No matter how little space you have, or how brown your thumb is, we have the perfect guide for you. The first step in your gardening journey is understanding your space. Think of it as getting to know a new friend. You're about to spend a lot of time together, so it pays to understand the quirks and characteristics that make your garden unique. Firstly, you need to consider the sunlight. Some plants love to bask in the sun all day, while others prefer the cool shade. Take note of which areas receive direct sunlight and at what times. This will help you decide on the best spots for your plants. Next, let's talk about soil. It's more than just dirt. Every garden has its own blend of sand, silt, and clay. Certain plants thrive in sandy soil, others in clay. So it's important to know what you're working with. You can easily test your soil type at home with a simple jar test. Finally, climate plays a big role. Are your summers hot and dry or cool and wet? Do you have mild winters or are they harsh and freezing? Each plant has its own preferred climate, and matching plants to your local conditions can make all the difference. So study your space. Learn its patterns, its personality. The better you understand your garden, the better you can meet its needs and the needs of your plants. Remember, every garden is unique and understanding your space is key to a thriving garden. Now that you've understood your space, it's time to choose the right plants. Choosing the right plants for your garden isn't as simple as picking the prettiest flowers from the nursery. It's a thoughtful process that requires you to consider the particular conditions of your garden. You need to account for factors like sunlight, soil type, climate, and even the local wildlife. For example, a plant that thrives in full sun would struggle in a shady corner of the garden. Similarly, a plant that prefers dry soil might not do well in an area that tends to stay damp. Now let's talk about the difference between annuals and perennials. These terms refer to a plant's life cycle. Annuals are plants that complete their life cycle in one year or season. They grow from seed, bloom, produce seeds, and die within a single growing season. On the other hand, perennials are plants that grow for many years. They might not bloom in their first year, but once they start, they'll continue to bloom year after year. Both types of plants have their merits. Annuals often provide vibrant, season-long color and are great if you like to change your garden's look every year. Perennials, though, require less work as they don't need to be replanted each year. They also tend to be more robust and resistant to disease. Another important consideration is the benefits of choosing native plants. Native plants are adapted to your local climate and soil conditions, which makes them more likely to thrive with less care. They also provide habitat and food for local wildlife, contributing to the biodiversity of your area. Remember, creating a garden isn't just about aesthetics. It's also a way to engage with the natural world and contribute to the ecological health of your local environment. Choosing the right plants not only makes your garden beautiful but also ensures its sustainability. With the right plants chosen, it's time to get your hands dirty. Planting is more than just burying seeds in the ground. It's about creating a nurturing environment where your plants can thrive and grow. So, let's break down the process into some simple, easy-to-follow steps. First up is digging the hole. The depth of the hole will depend on what you're planting. For seeds, a shallow hole will suffice, while larger plants or bulbs may require a deeper hole. A good rule of thumb is to dig a hole two to three times as deep as the width of the seed or bulb. Next, we come to spacing. Plants need room to spread their roots and grow. Cramming them too close together can hinder growth and lead to competition for resources, so ensure that you're spacing your plants properly. If you're unsure, the back of your seed packet usually gives a good indication of how much space each plant needs. Now let's talk about watering. After planting, give your plants a good soak. This helps settle the soil and ensures that your plants have enough moisture to start growing. But remember, more water isn't always better. Overwatering can lead to root rot and other problems. It's about striking the right balance. And finally, we come to patience. Plants grow in their own time. Some may sprout in a few days, others may take weeks. Don't fret if you don't see results immediately. Keep caring for your garden, adjusting as necessary, and soon enough, you'll see the fruits of your labor. So there you have it, the planting process in a nutshell. It might seem a bit daunting at first, but with practice, it becomes second nature. And there's nothing quite like the satisfaction of seeing your garden come to life, one plant at a time. With patience and care, you'll see your garden begin to sprout in no time. 
A garden is a living, breathing thing that requires ongoing care and maintenance. Just as we need food, water, and care to grow and thrive, so do our plants. But don't worry, it's not as daunting as it sounds, and the rewards are well worth the effort. Watering is the first essential task in garden maintenance. While it might seem like a no-brainer, there's a bit more to it than just turning on the hose. Plants prefer a deep, thorough soaking less often over frequent light watering. This encourages them to grow deeper roots, making them more resilient and helping them access nutrients buried in the soil. Next, let's talk about weeding. Weeds are not just unsightly, they compete with your plants for nutrients, water, and light. Regularly removing them ensures your plants get all the goodness they need. A good tip is to weed after a rain when the soil is soft and the entire weed root and all can be easily pulled out. Pruning is another important aspect of garden maintenance. It helps your plants maintain their shape, promotes healthy growth, and keeps diseases at bay. Remember, each cut is a wound, so always use clean, sharp tools and make precise cuts just above a bud or branch. Fertilizing gives your plants the nutrients they need to grow strong and healthy, but remember, more is not always better. Over-fertilizing can harm your plants, so always follow the package instructions. Now, every garden will face its share of problems, be it pests, diseases, or nutrient deficiencies. The key is to catch these issues early, regularly inspect your plants, look for any signs of distress, like yellowing leaves or stunted growth, and address the issue promptly. With regular care and a watchful eye, your garden will flourish and provide you with endless joy. Remember, gardening is not just about the destination, it's about the journey, so take your time, enjoy the process, and watch as your little patch of earth transforms into a green paradise. Gardening is more than just a hobby, it's a journey of discovery and growth. It's about nurturing a seed into a sprout, then a plant, and eventually watching it bloom. It's about the thrill of seeing your first tomato ripen or your first flower blossom. It's about the satisfaction of knowing that you've created something beautiful and alive from nothing but a tiny seed. During this gardening journey, you've learned some essential steps to becoming a successful gardener. You've learned about understanding your space. Every garden is unique with its own set of challenges and opportunities, you've discovered how to work with what you have, maximize your resources, and make your garden thrive. You've also learned about choosing the right plants. Not all plants are created equal. Some need more sun, others need more shade. Some need lots of water, others can survive on very little. You've understood the importance of selecting plants that are suitable for your unique gardening environment. We've also delved into the planting process. From preparing the soil to sowing the seeds, each step is crucial in ensuring your plants grow healthy and strong. It's not just about digging a hole and dropping in a seed, it's about creating the perfect environment for your plants to flourish. And let's not forget about ongoing care and maintenance. A garden is not a set it and forget it type of project. It requires regular watering, pruning and fertilizing, but don't worry the effort is well worth it. There's nothing quite like the feeling of stepping back and admiring a garden you've nurtured and cared for. So. Are you ready to embark on your gardening journey? It might seem daunting at first but remember every gardener was once a beginner. Start small be patient, and watch as the magic unfolds. There's a whole world of green waiting for you to explore. Remember, every gardener was once a beginner. Start small, be patient, and watch as the magic unfolds. Happy gardening!